Hello, this is Ayobami Adeboyega Gospel Frames TV channel. I welcome you. On this channel, you have content that will help your marriage, your relationships. I'd like you to please subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, like the videos, and send in your comments. God bless you. Amen. From what I know, I think she convinced the old board member that Femi was a better choice. Ijoma takes me for a fool. I will show her that I'm not here in this city to cut bridges. Please, I need you to come to my room now. What for? I want you to come now. Don't keep me waiting. I did. What are you doing now? Turn and face me. No. I said turn. No, you are naked. So? It is not as if you have not seen a naked woman before. Turn and add me the phone. Since you are the poetic type, I can as well start calling you Femi. Do you know what that means? Yes, it means my Femi. This is shocking. But congratulations all the same. I'm happy for you. So good to see you. So what's up with you? Are you married now? Engaged. Oh. Congratulations. What about you, AJ? Well, I'm still single. All okay. right. Sorry. So good to see you, Madam CEO. You're welcome. Thank see you. you. What? I want to leave there as soon as I can. But why? I didn't know it's gonna be like this. <laughs> Come on, Ifemi. Is it because of the stress? I thought this is all you've always wanted. You mean I've always wanted stress? <laughs> no, no. That's not what I mean. I mean that you've always wanted to be a top tier executive in a company like this and now that is here do you want to throw all that away honey yes ij has been mounting pressure on me to have sex with her eh? <laughs> you you Please! Ifemi, you don't understand. What don't I understand? You think I don't know? 
What do you know? Wait. Give me a few seconds. a problem. I know you have a problem with traveling and all. And I know you don't like anything that frequently takes you away from our home and the church. But if any, you know the nature of your new position and you have to get used to it. You have to try and get used to it. Because if you quit now and you get a new job, do you think it will be less demanding? Hmm. I hear you. Better. God has finally given us a breakthrough and you want to throw all that away? Please, stop it. Eh? Stop it, please. Yes, madam. Thank you. My MD. My one and only MD. See how Madam IJ and all the staff are taking care of us. Oh. Where do you want to get that kind of welfare package? Where? Ah, all thanks to God, though. <laughs> it's God. <laughs> That's mm. IJ woman. She's very nice. God bless her. Oh, amen. She's very nice. <laughs> um. Pastor Mrs. Wright came by the hospital a few days ago. Wow. That's very nice of her. Yes. And um, the Singles Fellowship, they brought a letter. They brought a letter for us. What do they need? Um, they want us to speak at their next monthly meeting. Yes. The both of us? Yes, the both of us together. Wow. That's, that's good. But, oh, okay. let's not forget. How is that fearing now? Um, it's a lot better now. Oh, great. I hope you will be fit for the transplant procedure in a few weeks. Hey, man. Oh. Oh. Honey, you're tired. Let me get you a glass of juice. Oh, that's my babe. <laughs> Suffering from jet lag? No, I don't think so. Then what is the problem? Come on, my daughter. Can I ask you a question? Oh, go ahead, my daughter. I'm all ears. When your soulmate is married to someone else, what can be done? to make him yours forever. Here! Yeah. Baby. Yeah? Daddy's really looking much like his old self. Yes. What's wrong with you? You don't seem excited. I'm excited that my father's health is getting better. It's just that I have this feeling that... Shh. Honey, the power of life and death lies in the tongue. You don't pronounce what you don't want. You know what, baby? Just relax eh? and let God finish what he has started. I believe he will. But since I've been having this feeling, 
Can we pray about it? Yes, honey. Yes, we can. But please, can it wait till I return back from work in the evening? I need to get in the heli. <sighs> Boy, it's just 7 a.m. now. Why are you in such a hurry? Tony has been the one in charge since I traveled. Do you understand? And now, I want to be kept abreast with everything free information, everything happening in that office. Before IJ arrives this morning, you know she can be very unpredictable. Oh, I see. Please go. This is not the time to get on the wrong side of that wonderful woman. Alright, thank you, honey. What time do you want me to come pick you? Um, 5 p.m. But if you are going to be busy, just let me know on time so that I can be on my way. Here <laughs> again. I'm going to be there by 5, don't worry. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Right. Honey, please. Take care of yourself. Eh? I will. For me. I love you. I love you too. Already. Bye. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> Good morning, MD. You are here earlier than usual. Is that a bad thing? No. It is just surprising. Is it? I do come early, but today I decided to come earlier than usual because I need a report of the happening at the office in my absence. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. IJ is also resuming to office today, and I believe that the report is going to be the first thing she's going to request for. Mm. All right. I will send it to your mail and copy the CO. You can do that. But now that we are here together, can you give me a verbal brief? Oh, all right. Um, first, I want to ask you something. What is it? Man to man. How did it go in Abuja? Oh, you mean you need a report? Oh, no, 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 no not that. that. I am referring to you and I. Okay. Ah, don't lie. Did you guys have a lot of fun? Fun? Fun, yes. I mean, the two of you were alone since no one was watching you. Oh, was there a lot of fun? I beg your pardon. Ah, <laughs> relax. Answer my question. How can you be asking me such a thing? Because I know she really fancies you. I see the way she looks at you and the way she behaves around you. You two traveled um, alone for an official assignment to Abuja and she obviously refused to hard appeal to the entourage. Oh, isn't that a source to you? She did that to reduce cost. <laughs> Uh, don't tell me you believe that crap. Oh, look, man. We both know that she deliberately wanted to be alone with you on that trip. Uh, you are the only one she has a soft spot for. Except for me, of course. <laughs> you mean she has a soft spot for you? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> now I see where this is coming from. 
You obviously have a thing for her, don't you? Oh, it's the other way around. Mm. Just so you know, she once made passes at me and I refused her. She didn't take that rejection kindly. And I guess that was why she filled the appointment and gave it to you instead. Uh, so... Tunde, say no more. It's too early for this kind of nonsense talk. I will let this slide and pretend as if I never had. Just because I don't want controversies nor scandals. But please don't mention this to me again. Alright. Alright. You are the boss. But as a self-professed Christian, oh, it would be too bad for you to have to sleep your way to the top. Are you being serious right now? Do you have any evidence that I've been sleeping with anybody in this office? What's up with these baseless allegations? I need you to be careful with these allegations. And even right now, you are becoming insubordinate to your superiors. Oh, I apologize. But you have not answered my question. Look, Tunde, I have the prerogative to either answer the question or not. I am a responsible married man who doesn't have interest in kind of frivolities. You are being really insubordinate right now. Uh, I see. Can I have the report now? All right. Which one do you want first? Operational? Or finance? Operation. Alright. Um, the day you left. Femi, come with me. Alright, thank you. You almost injured me. For that, I'm sorry. But you went too far. Come on, I only wanted you to take a look at me. Be sincere with yourself. Was that all you really wanted? Don't ask me a question which you have the answer to. Look, IJ, it's not going to happen. So stop trying. I'm sure there are a million and one good men out there who would happily agree to become your lover. But for me, I have crossed the Rubicon and I'm not returning. Femi, there might be a million and one men out there, but there's just one soulmate. And Femi, you're my soulmate. Really? The soulmate you ghosted for years. While you were in the UK, not even a single call or message. I'm sure that I've been completely erased from your memory. Not until that day you resumed here and saw me. You wouldn't understand. I don't even want to understand. And to top it all, I'm not the only one you're pursuing. What? Even to me too. You even went as far as vetoing his appointment just because he rejected your advances. What's up with you, IJ? Me? Femi? You mean me? What's you doing there? That's preposterous. What? Who told you that? I don't have the liberty to reveal that to you. Wow. Well, Femi, if you care to know, Tunde has been making passes at me ever since I got into this company. 
He tried to force his way at me at the last Ghana night. And I slapped him. And that was the day I made up my mind that it would not be the next substantive MD. Tell whoever your source is that he is very misinformed. He says, she says, obviously. What? Never mind. See, Tunde is not the only one making passes at me. Do you know the number of government officials and other powerful men that have been wooing me ever since I returned into this country? Femi, the number is uncountable. I am that much of a hot cake, but in your eyes, I am nothing but a flap cake. You don't just undermine me because you know I like you, but you're also joining the gossips is spreading false rumor about me. You are very ungrateful and childish. So you call me childish because I rejected your advances? You are also a brute. You pushed me so hard in that hotel room. And I wonder why I didn't even get injured. I got to do what I got to do. Then I should file a battery charge with the police. Then go ahead. Can I leave now? There are a lot of work to be done. Okay, you know what, Femi, I'm sorry for what I said, but please, can you just do me a favor, and I promise not to disturb you again. What do you want? <sighs> Have sex with me, just once. What? Really? Are you sure about this, Gloria? Sir, I am 100% sure that that's what she said, sir. <sighs> what was his response? Ah, I didn't hear that part. I did not hear that part, sir. Hmm. Hmm. My instincts have never failed me. Mm. Ah, I had always known there was something between those two. Mm-hmm. Sir, it appears that they have asked something since when Madame started schooling abroad. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That is the part I don't understand. Now, I need for you to find out what the nature of their relationship was back then. All right, sir. I'll do just that. Hmm. Gloria. Yes, sir. Let me advise you. Choose your role models carefully. Mm. There are many people like Igel out there that we look up to, that live very shady lives. Mm. Many of them did terrible things to get to the top. Mm. For you, keep working hard and maintaining loyalty. <laughs> the sky is your starting point. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. But I have something to ask you. Uh, what is it? There is this passage in the Bible that my mother always quotes. Hmm. I think it is in the book of um, um, Leviticus, sir. Ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And there's this Yoruba that just says, Kakake kuma jese se, afi shower down. What are you getting at? Sir, attack, they say. It's the best form of defense. Instead of waiting for Madame IJ and Mr. Femi to make a mistake, why not attack them head on? How? It is simply by taking their matter to Oki Majesty. Remember, Uncle Fagbadi's shrine is still there. <laughs> ah, Gloria. <laughs> That's your Uncle Fagbadi. Hmm? Isn't that extreme? Sir, <laughs> you are too peaceful, oh. <laughs> It is a dog-eat-dog world, sir. If Mr. Femi eventually falls for Madame Heidi, they will become much more difficult to stop. <laughs> Agreed. But I'm not a dog. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> I fear you. 
Are you not an usher in your church? Oh, sir, Th that is the way the world works now. Mm. <laughs> anyway, it is past lunch time. Let's get back to work. Alright, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, what about my proposition? <laughs> Dad, I'm not living like a rich person. Then what is the problem? Eh? Is it not better to be free from the shackles of marriage and hang around the many women that surround you than to be married and be cheating? <laughs> it's enough. I hope you know that being married does not impede temptations. Yes, sir, I know. There are so many questions in the minds of today's youth. Yeah, you're very correct. Honey. Yes? Did you mean all you said today? <laughs> I said a lot of things. Which one exactly? The spirits say that there is no difficulty with granting your request. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Husband and Wife series. the one of our partners kindly send your seat to our ministry's account. A Christian home is the best. Thank you. God bless you. Our godly home where true love is shared. Husband and wife love each other sincerely. A Christian home is the best. Our godly home where true love is shared Husband and wife Love each other sincerely For you are my joy, 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 joy The love of my life I will miss you tongues my heart belongs to you. Hey, for you were my joy. Joy, joy, joy. The love of my life. Our home is built on God's world. We are a happy family. Sincerely, you were my joy.